You've probably heard of live food and probiotics that can be beneficial for your gut under some circumstances. So let's dive in to some live food quickly and who is it for and who is it not for. So basically live food would be something that's fermented and the cultures, the yeast and the bacteria uh, are alive. It's not like in a tablet that you get when you buy probiotics because lots of those aren't alive, they're basically dead. And what it can do is it can help repopulate your gut, say if you'd have had a bout of antibiotics and first of all people who've got leaky gut shouldn't be taking probiotics or live food because it can just be too aggravating and you need to heal the leaky gut first. The other people who have a problem with live food would be those who've got histamine intolerances and there can be different reasons, there can be different SNPs or SNPs, that's genetics and the most common one is a slow DAO enzyme so it means you're not very good at breaking down histamines in the gut and a histamine intolerance can manifest as mood swings, insomnia, um, ge general kind of malaise and it can be quite hard to detect. And live food would be things like kombucha, kimchi, sauerkraut. And if you want to buy it in the shops, you've got to make sure it hasn't been pasteurized because otherwise it's dead. So personally for me, I've been making some kefir. So kefir is fermented uh, milk and I get a culture from a proper place and then I make it over and over again. So when this is finished, I just put more back in here, more milk, uh, I use goat's milk, and then let it ferment again, and I just do that over and over. So it's actually really easy to make live food at home, it just depends what you want to make. So thanks for watching and feel free to comment.